Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, uh, we'll be seeing how can we calculate uh, the cluster validation or how can we estimate the validity of a cluster. So uh, we basically build uh, the clusters by using different algorithms like k-means. Then we have the uh, HAC that is the hierarchical agglomerative clustering. Also, uh, we can build clusters using, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the density-based uh, clusters using DB scan and so on. So, uh, once you build these uh, clusters, now uh, the crucial challenge is like whether uh, the clusters that you have built, uh, do they uh, really convey any intrinsic information or are the clusterings produced by you from the algorithm that you have chosen from the underlying distribution, is it uh, enough? So to answer those questions, we have basically uh, two categories of cluster validations. So one is by means of external cluster validation and the other one is by means of internal cluster validation. So uh, in external cluster validation, we have this uh, RAND statistic or Jacquard coefficient, uh, things like that. Uh, and in internal cluster validation, uh, we have methods like cohesion, separation, silhouette coefficient and so on. So I also have made a conceptual video on uh, cohesion and separation, but uh, because when we sit with pen and paper and to do cohesion and separation, it will take considerable amount of time. And uh, I have done this activity and I have some notes for you like uh, this thing. So, what I'll be basically doing is like uh, I have already uh, done this on pen and paper, and uh, it took me some time for uh, doing the calculation. And I'll show you how it is very easy to implement it in Python. Okay, so that is the uh, takeaway of this. So, all the formulas and all the calculations that uh, we'll be doing. Uh, I'll be giving you a comparison of what the things actually we are computing and how those things are actually translated into Python statements. Okay. So uh, we begin with uh, cohesion and separation. So cohesion and separation are nothing but the internal cluster validation indices. So uh, assume like we have given a clustering, say some clustering is given random clustering Z1. And in that we have some data points uh, which is having the following coordinates. So the coordinates looks uh, something like this. So uh, this is how uh, the cluster uh, dictionary is. So uh, just keep in mind here also I am not taking any data set or I don't have any uh, clusters at this ready. So everything will be building from scratch. So even their data set or the data frame that we'll be having or for this activity we'll be building from scratch. Okay. So uh, here a cluster dict or CS dict is a dictionary. So in that I'll be basically having points. So these are my points like x1, x2, x3 and so on. So uh, this is stored in keys and values. So it is a key value pair. So point is the key. And these are the points. So I have 15 different points. This is my x coordinate, and these are the values, and this is the y, and these are the values. And to all of this, uh, I have a cluster label that is assigned. So I basically have three clusters x1, x2, and x3. So uh, then I want to put it in a data frame. So just to uh, summarize how my data frame looks like or how my data set is, it looks something like this. So this you can essentially uh, relate with uh, after your uh, clustering is done. So once you do the clustering and once uh, the cluster centroids don't change any further, you'll obtain this kind of uh, data set. Okay. So uh, that we have done uh, in a hard coded way. Okay. So uh, next uh, what we need to do is we need to calculate the cluster centroids. So uh, that is same uh, like in k-means also we calculated this thing. 
classes and droids so uh, before that uh, i'll just give you a quick walk through of what this thing actually is so uh, this is our clustering that is z1 and uh, we have uh, clusters like x1 x2 and x3 so uh, now since the first step uh, in calculating the cohesion and separation is that you have to first get the classes centroids okay so uh, for classes centroids we have to determine the mean that is the average of that point so this is how it is done that is uh, for the points that is belonging to x1 cluster we have uh, this way 1 plus 2 plus 2 divided by 3 and 4 plus 5 plus 4 divided by 3 and this is the uh, value i mean this is the centroid that is the average and similarly for x2 uh, we get in this way so this is how we uh, do on pen and paper and now what we'll be doing is we will be seeing what is the uh, python counterpart for this so uh, i have a centroids dict and in that also i am storing a key value pair that is cluster so these are my uh, three unique clusters x1 x2 and x3 and this is my x value and i am calculating the mean so this is how it's calculated and here for x2 and here for x3 similarly for y I am writing the uh, same statements y mean and y dot mean. Okay, then I am basically uh, printing this. So, this is how it basically looks like. So, just a few lines of code, you need not uh, do all these things. Okay, so whatever we have done this year on uh, paper, especially I have done. Uh, that you can get it in this way so you can just cross check 1.67 4.33 for first cluster x1 for x2 you have 4.5 and 2 okay so here it will store internally uh, till whatever granularity it has to store so that is computed by itself and for x3 we have 4.67 and uh, 4.5 okay so this is the first and foremost thing when you want to uh, do the cluster validation of any cluster okay so uh, next step is to calculate the cohesion of a cluster so we have two measures cohesion and separation so either you can use for determining uh, cohesion uh, like in cohesion uh, higher values are good and in separation uh, lower values are good like so visually when you see the two clusters should be well apart so that it can be uh, differentiated okay so to calculate uh, the cohesion of a cluster we calculate the average distances of points to the cluster center right so how it is done is like this is the step two that we are currently uh, into so uh, now since we have uh, x1 that is from above that is 1.674.33 uh, i'll just rotate this okay so uh, now what we have is uh, we have the distance of x1 uh, that is center of x1 so we'll calculate by euclidean distance so uh, it is like uh, from the first point we calculate the distance to the uh, center of x1 so that is uh, to this point this one okay by euclidean distance you will get some value similarly x2 to uh, x1 and x3 to x1 uh, because uh, in x1 uh, we have only uh, three points that is this one uh, this one and this one so rest all are belonging to some other clusters so will be only calculating the distances to that and then we have to get the average of that so you add up these values and you uh, divide it by 3 and you get the cohesion of x1 so let's see how we can do that the 
uh, Python level translation of the same thing. So uh, here I have three clusters x1, x2, and x3. Okay, uh, this one. So to calculate the cohesion of a cluster, calculate the average distance of points to the cluster centroid. So initially, all the cluster centers uh, I have uh, put it to zero. Okay. So uh, here I want to do in a iterative way. So uh, for index and row in this particular cluster, so I am using uh, a library that is a standard library which is there in Python that is iter tools. And in iter tools we have something called as iter rows. So it will iterate every time when it encounters x1 uh, which is present in this particular data frame so that is the uh, major uh, motive of this and inside this we have to calculate nothing but the euclidean distances uh, that is this one okay so cohesion of x1 that is uh, we are using np dot square root rho dot x or you can also consider point uh, in k means what we did is uh, we took that variable as point so just to have the uh, convenience you should not uh, get confused because uh, row actually we are taking it row wise that is one by one in this way so we are taking in this way uh, the highlighted way so that's why uh, it is row dot x and centroids of cluster if that matches with x1 so we'll take the x of that we'll square that and similarly on the y coordinate so this thing that is this portion what you currently see highlighted that is nothing but the Euclidean distance calculation and the resultant of that we are getting it as some value so here at each step i have calculated that so uh, then at the end you have to take the average of that so that is nothing but doing here that is cohesion for x1 that is uh, a shorthand assignment operator okay so similarly you do that for uh, x2 and x3 and once you do this you will get the values in this way so here what I did is I did everything manually by hand calculating the Euclidean distances then taking the average of this point then I arrived at x1 then for x2 I have to determine how many points are there uh, within x2 cluster I have to calculate the Euclidean distances from that point to the center of x2 and here I'll just rotate it again okay so uh, till uh, six points so i had six points in x2 so i have to take all the values average of all and i get the cohesion of x2 as 1.359 which is the same here and similarly for x3 i did the same thing and then i took the average so uh, this is the cohesion part so uh, just you can see it took me approximately uh, two pages for calculating the cohesion values. Now it becomes very uh, a Herculean task when you have a huge number of data points. Now here since we had only 15 data points that is very small for demonstration purpose in the real world. It's not in that way. Uh, you don't get 15 points. You will have more than that. Okay. So there it becomes very difficult if you sit with pen and paper to do this activity so that's why uh, the coding part is very easy you just have to write uh, three lines for each of the cluster centroid calculation or the cohesion and then you can uh, average it out all values and then you obtain it so this is the uh, python counterpart of cohesion now comes uh, the separation so separation is actually easy you need not do that much computation because in uh, 
separation we actually take out the uh, representative part that is the centroid of one cluster and we determine the distance to the other cluster centroid okay so we already have the centroid of x1 x2 and x3 so we determine the distance between x1 to x2 and similarly x1 to x3 x2 to x3 and then we take the average of these things so this is how you uh, do analytically by pen and paper so here let us see what is the uh, python counterpart of this so there is not much difference actually you have to take uh, the cluster centers of x1 this is the euclidean part for x1 minus x2 okay and this is y1 minus y2 for clusters x1 and x2 so the distance between x x1 and x2 is given by this the distance between x1 and x3 that is uh, this part that is given over here and x2 and x3 that is nothing but here so everything is carried out by pandas and numpy here all the calculations and then you take out the uh, average values and then you estimate this i'll just run this and you'll get this values same as here so uh, the first value is 3.67 for distance between x1 and x2 separation of x1 okay um i mean this value that is a distance you have to take the average that is 3.37 this one so separation of x1 with respect to x2 and x3 so that is this value then separation of x2 with x1 and x3 that is this value and distance of x3 with x1 and x2 that is this value and finally i am just printing this out in our data frame so uh, you can see like three clusters their cohesion and separation value so just see how computationally easy it is to do in uh, python so you can do it pen, uh, on pen and paper but uh, you should also know how it is done in a pythonic way okay so that was the major takeaway of this so uh, in the next video we'll be coming up with uh, other cluster validation measures like silhouette coefficient uh, which also many people asked me uh, there was no numerical or so how we could calculate it uh so that will be seeing in the next videos okay so if you like this video and if you found this video informative educative uh please do like share and comment and if you are watching this video for the first time and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for watching this video